right. Well, thank you very much, Miss Angie. And how is everybody doing this morning? Good, good. Well, my name is Uncle Mike. My program is Pint Size Polkas. And the first song we're going to do today, I need your help with. I need everybody to say, whoop, give that a try. Ooh, very good. When I pointed you like this, do what you just did, and we'll be in great shape with the whoop polka. Help me set the beat. started off here this morning. Thank you very much. Now I need the assistance of my first two volunteers. Raise your hand if you would like to be one of my first two volunteers this morning. Young man right there in the gray with the camera on your shirt. Come on up. Yeah. And we need another volunteer. Uh, let's see. We will go with the uh, young lady there in the purple in the back. Come on up. All right. And as she's making her way up here, we'll find out first of all, young man, young man, right there. What's your name? Dolly. Dolly. Everybody say, hi, Dolly. Hi, Dolly. All right, so we have Dolly and young lady. Young lady. <laughs> What's your name? Billy. Billy. Everybody say, hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. All right, so we have Billy and we have Dolly. And uh, Dolly. Dolly. What? <laughs> Got a question for you. Uh, a really tough question. Do you know what the reading theme is at the library this summer? What are we saying about? What what we're saying about? We're 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 actually the theme. The Stop it! St Stop it! I'm I'm. We'll 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 make this brief. The theme, Dolly. Hey, is... Thank you. <laughs> wow, he's having a lot of fun up here. Billy, are you having fun? Whatever. <laughs> All right. The theme this year is on your mark. Get set read and as such we are going to do a number of segments today about uh, things that involve competition fitness racing and uh, uh, dolly do you know what that means for you what are you saying about what <laughs> it means we get to do the hokey pokey what? have you done the hokey pokey before billy yes yes, yes. how about you dolly no Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's make it real easy. We're going to run through the steps real quick. Let's have everybody stand up. And we are going to use our right hand as an example. Billy and Dolly. And uh, Billy and Dolly. Billy and Dolly. Can you guys stand right back there? Yeah, Billy, come stand right next to Dolly there. Perfect. Now, we'll use our right hand as an example. So I'll say put your right hand in. Can you put your right hand in, Dolly? Yeah, put your right hand in, Dolly. Other, other hand. We'll get on the same page here eventually. There you go. Then I'll say, put your right hand out. Yeah, then you put your right hand in again, and you shake it all about. Yeah, you do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. 
Oh, a quarter of the way. That's what it's all about. And then there's a part that goes the hokey pokey, and you just go like this the whole time. So let's give it a try. Let's give Billy and Dolly a nice round of applause. They will be our leaders with the hokey pokey. We'll start with our left foot. Here we go. You put your left foot in, your left foot out, your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Your right foot, your right foot in, you put your right foot out, your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Your left hand, your left hand in, you put your left hand out, your left hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Your right hand, your right hand in, you put your right hand out, your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Your pinky fingers, your pinky fingers in, you put your pinky fingers out, your pinky fingers in, and you shake them all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Put your head in, your head in, your head out, your head in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey, do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. Hold self, your whole self in. You put your whole self out, your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey, do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. The hokey pokey. Nice job. Thank you very much. You can all take your seats. The two of you can head back to your seats. And let's have a nice round of applause for Dolly and for Billy. Ten points for both of them. And that brings us right now to a little bit of flexibility testing. Hocus pocus. And for that, I need you to put your hands out in front of you like this. Yeah. And I need you to turn your thumbs so they are pointing down like this. So your palms should be facing outward. Yep. Now we're going to take our right hand and cross it over the top of our left hand. Yeah. Yep. And now we're going to intertwine our fingers like this. Yep. Very good. Now this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. I need you to, uh, to wiggle just your right pinky finger. Just your right pinky finger. Is that your right one or your left one? Yeah, make sure you're doing your right. Good, good, good job. Now, on the count of three, we are going to rotate our hands so they are pointing toward the ceiling like this. One, two, three. Oh. Ah, yeah, you'll have to try that one when you get home. A little bit of a flexibility test there for you this morning. And now, I need the assistance of my next volunteer. Raise your hand if you would like to be my next volunteer today. Let's see, we will go with the uh, young lady right there in the dress. Come on up. And young lady in the dress, stand right there. Yeah, come a little bit closer. What's your name? Margaret. Margaret, everybody say hi, Margaret. Now, Margaret, we are going to do a number of segments today about occupations, jobs, and careers that involve competition, involve racing, involve uh, fitness. And Margaret, for you, that means you get to wear this hat. Go ahead and put that on, Margaret. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and put it on. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Now, yeah, give her a nice round of applause. Who can tell me what job goes with the hat that Margaret is wearing? What I'm looking for starts with the letter P. What do you think? Pilot, 10 points for you. Give her a nice round of applause. Good job. Margaret, would you mind if I had my hat back? Thank you very much. You can head back to your seat. Give Margaret a nice round of applause. And that brings us to our first trivia question of the day today, which is, you know, back in the 1920s, there was a big race to see who could make it across the Atlantic Ocean first by solo flight. And my question for you is, who was the first woman to make such a flight? Your three multiple choices are either A, Amelia Earhart, B, Patty Wagstaff, 
or C? Oprah Winfrey, raise your hand if you know the answer to that one, or if you would like to take a guess. Young man in the Superman shirt right there, what do you think? A, B, or C? Yeah. He's coming up to tell me. Do you like A, B, or C? Which one do you think? A. A, for Amelia Earhart. Did you tell him that? He's just that smart. Absolutely right. Give him a nice round of applause. And you can head back to your seat there, young man, and Miss Angie, Miss, there you, there you are, Miss Angie, in your library. Do you have any books about Amelia Earhart or airplanes? Lots of those books that you should check out right after the program today. Now, since we just talked about uh, flying an airplane, let's have everybody stand up. And we'll have you put your wings out. Yep, and give them a little wiggle like this. There you go, and feel free to fly safely around now to the sounds of the flying machine polka. Get ready for takeoff. <laughs> Happy flying machine with great big jets on its wings. It soars on a cloud without a fear or a care. It is oh so safe as it just glides on the air. Out pops its wings when it's ready to land. Piloted in by the captain's steady hand. He lands oh so soft like the feathers on a head. He hollers and back, let's go flying again. machine with great big jets on its wings. If you want to ride, there's only one thing to do. Yes, the flying machine will be coming for you. Everybody give your wings a wiggle. And keep your planes in the air. Out pops its wheels when it's ready to land. Piloted in by the captain's steady hand He lands oh so soft like the feathers on a hand He hollers and back, let's go flying again Right back in the air goes the flying machine Happy flying machine with great big jets on its wings If you want to ride, there's only one thing to do Yes, the flying machine will be coming for you Everybody once again, get your wings out Ready to land. The Flying Machine Polka. Nice job, everybody, keeping those planes in the air. Thank you very much. And yes, all the pilots can land back in your seats because you know if you're a pilot, you can fly anywhere in the world. And if you're a world traveler, some people might call you a happy wanderer. And that brings us to the next song we'll sing today called The Happy Wanderer Polka. And there's a part that I need your help with. I'll sing Valderie, you sing that back to me. Then I'll sing Valderon, you sing that back to me as loud as you can. Let's give it a try. Valderie, Valderon, Valderie. And now we all laugh together. Valderon, Valderie, Valderon. Very good when I point at you like this. Do what you just did once again, and we'll be in great shape with the Happy Wonder Repolka. Help me set the beat. Van 
Elder Rock, come join my happy song. Oh, may I go on wandering until the day I die. And may I always laugh and sing beneath God's clear blue sky. One more time, Valderie. job everybody singing and clapping along thank you very much now I need the assistance of my next two volunteers raise your hand if you would like to be one of my next two volunteers today we will go we should have a, a couple of slightly older kids for this one you know you're you're a little uh, older yeah would you like to come up come on up anybody else uh, yes you as well in the green come on up perfect and young lady in the green what is your name Cora Cora yeah, everybody say hi, Cora. Hi, Cora. All right, so we have Cora and we have Molly. Molly, everybody say hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Now, Molly and Cora, right now, Cora, we're about to play the most famous song ever played on this instrument. Molly, do you know what this instrument is called? It starts with a letter A. And Cora. What did you, what did you say? Cora. Co Cora. Cora. Your name is Cora. <laughs> yep. Good. Good. Nice to meet you again. Uh, uh, Molly, do you, know, do you know what this instrument is called? This is a tough question. An accordion? An accordion, yes. Let's give uh, 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 Molly, right? Yeah, Molly, let's give Molly a nice round of applause. You said Cora because I called you Molly, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Aha, see, sometimes it takes a minute to sink in. Okay, so Cora, we're, we're gonna thank you for correcting me. Right now, we're going to do the most famous song ever played on the accordion, Cora, and it has to do with chickens. Do you know what that means for you, Cora? Mm hmm What does it mean? It's played on with chickens. Well, well, you, you actually get to play the part of the chicken because we are going to do the chicken dance. Yeah. Have you done the chicken dance before, Molly? Yes. Yes. How about you, Cora? Yeah. Good. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's run through the steps real quick. And we'll just have you all stay seated just for a minute, just so we can all get a good look at the steps with Molly, Corey, uh, Cora, and myself. And first, we make our little beaks. Yeah, ooh, very good. Then we flap our little wings. Yep. Then we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then we clap four times. Just like that. And when you're singing, it sounds like this. Follow along with us once more. First, you make your little beaks, and you flap your little wings, and you wiggle all the way. Clap, 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 clap. Just like that. Let's have a nice round of applause for Molly and for Cora, our two leaders. They will lead us with the chicken dance. Let's have everybody stand up. And here we go with the chicken dance. First you make your little beaks and you flap your little wings and you wiggle all the way. Clap, 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 clap. You do it once again. Just pretend that you're a hen. You'll be the best. Clap. This isn't just a dance, it is called the chicken dance. It is the greatest dance around. You give it just one chance, it is worth a second glance. You'll be amazed at what you found. Now, Molly and Cora, I need the two of you to face each other. Yeah. And I need you both to put out your right chicken wing. You're the right one there, Cora. The other one. Yeah, good job. Now, Molly, I need you to take your right chicken wing and link arms with Cora's right chicken wing. Yes, and now I need the two of you to twirl around safely. Everybody out there, find a partner and twirl around. Now go and find yourself a partner as you twirl around the floor. Once you've done the chicken dance, you'll keep coming back for more. Here we go again with the chicken dance. Molly, do you suppose you could go faster? Yeah. Would you all like to go faster? Yes. Here we go. Find a 
Nice job, everybody. All the chickens can land back in your seats. The two of you can head back to your seats. And let's have a nice round of applause for Molly and for Cora. Ten points for both of them. And that brings us right now to a special On Your Mark, Get Set, Read edition of Name That Tune. Raise your hand if you've ever played Name That Tune before. Miss Angie and a couple others. All right, well, good, good. The way it works is I will play three songs for you. At the end of each song or at any point during the song, just raise your hand, tell me the name of the song that I just played, the TV show character that it goes with, or the sporting event that it comes from, and then we'll move on with the next mystery tune. So if you're ready, here comes mystery song number one, and your clue for this one is, this sporting event starts with the letter O. <laughs> I heard it. Who said it? What did you say? The Olympics! Ten points for you. Give her a nice round of applause. And here comes mystery song number two. Your clue for this one is, this weekly sporting event in the fall has the initials M-N-F. Oh, you're so close. We're going to give it to you. Monday Night Football! Give her a nice round of applause. Wow, her hand really shot up there. She really knew that one. Good job. And here comes our third and final mystery tune. Your clue for this one is the characters on this TV show race on the rails. Oh, whoa, whoa. I heard it over there. Oh, they're both wearing the, the appropriate uh, attire for that. We'll give it to them. Thomas, 10 points for you guys. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And that is the perfect segue to our next volunteer opportunity. Raise your hand if you would like to be my next volunteer. You've had your hand up for the last five minutes. Come on up. <laughs> yeah. Stand right there if you don't mind. Yeah. You're very persistent. I appreciate that. What's your name? Nina. Nina. Everybody say hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. All right, Nina. How's your hand feel? Good. It really was up the last five minutes. Just amazing. Good job. Now, uh, you know, Nina, I love architecture. That's the study of buildings. And uh, every time I go to a new town, I like to find out what the tallest building is. Do you know what the tallest building here in Iowa City is? Yes. Yes. So you know then, you know it's the library, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Yeah. Yeah, it's the tallest building because it has so many stories. Ah! Okay. Nina, Nina, are, are you still having a good day? Good, good. Your day's about to get even better, Nina, because you get to wear this hat. Go ahead and put that on. Yeah. Oh, she decided to put it on backwards. All right. Well, well uh, usually I have people face the audience. Uh, Nina, I'll have you face that wall. Or just face that way. Here, let's, let's put it on sideways, if you don't mind. There. Yeah, now everybody can see the hat. Who, who can tell me what job goes with the hat that Nina is wearing? Raise your hand if you know the answer, or if you'd like to take a guess. Young man in the camouflage, I can hardly see you. Train conductor, you're on the right track. We're looking for the person that drives the train. Starts with the letter E. Engineer, 10 points for you. Give him a nice round of applause. Good job, Nina. Would you mind if I had my hat back? Thank you very much. You can head back to your seat. Let's give Nina a nice round of applause. And that brings us to our next trivia question of the day today, which is, which of the following trains is capable of outracing a Formula One race car? Your three multiple choices are either A, Austria's Orient Express, B, Japan's Meg Lev train, or C, America's Soul train. Which one do you think? Raise you. Oh, right there. It's the Japanese train, the Megalove train. Give her a nice round of applause. And that train is capable of going more than 100 miles per hour faster than the fastest race car. Amazing stuff. Miss Angie, in your library, do you have any books about fast trains? Lots and lots of train books you should check out after the program today. In the meantime, how many of you have ever sung I've Been Working on the Railroad? Raise your hand. Yes, well, I want to hear you sing as loud as you possibly can. Help me set the beat. 
All aboard and away we go. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass my time away. Don't you hear the whistle blow? Rise up so early in the morning. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Thine I blow your horn. Dino won't see you blow. Dino won't see you blow. Dino won't see you blow your horn. Dino won't see you blow. Dino won't see you blow. Dino won't see you blow your horn. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Strumming out the old banjo. I've been working on the railroad. Great job, everybody singing and clapping along. Thank you very much. Now, I need the assistance of my next two volunteers. Raise your hand if you would like to be one of my next two volunteers. Young man in the Superman shirt way in the back. Come on up. And I need the assistance of one more volunteer. Raise your hand if you would like to be, oh, the young man in the orange way in the back. Come on up. Excellent. And while he's making his way up here, what is your name there, Superman? Kai. Kyle? Cod. Cod. Yeah, everybody say hi, Cod. Hi. All right, so we have Cod and we have? I'm Sesmet. Jesmet? Sesmet. Yeah, okay, everybody say hi, Sesmet. All right, so we have Sesmet and we have Cod. And uh, Sesmet, are you happy today? Yeah, good, good. And generally speaking, Cod, if you're happy and you know it, what do you do? You know, let, let, me, let me put it to you this way. If you're happy and you know it. You share. <laughs> you share. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Huh? Yeah, give them a nice round of applause. I can't argue with that. But there's also a song that goes, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Stomp your feet. You say hooray. Have you done that before, assessment? Yeah. How about you, Cod? Yeah, very good. Well, let's give these two a nice round of applause. They will be our leaders with If You're Happy And You Know It. Once again, let's have everybody stand up. And here we go with Sesmet and Cod, If You're Happy And You Know It. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray! If you're happy and you know it, say hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three! Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Happy and you know it, do all three! If you're happy and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three! If you're happy and you know it, great job once again, everybody. Thank you very much, and you can all take your seats. The two of you can head back to your seats, and let's have a nice round of applause for Cod and for assessment. Ten points for both of them. And as I send them away, I need the assistance of another volunteer. Raise your hand if you would like to be my next volunteer. Young man there in the red and black shorts. I saw you kind of thinking about it. Yeah, come on up. Ah, here he comes. And I am so glad you agreed to be a volunteer. What's your name? Cole. Cole. Everybody say, hi, Cole. Hi, Cole. Now, Cole, do you know why I'm so glad you in particular are a volunteer? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. You know it's because you're wearing red and black, right? Yes. Yes, of course, of course. Um, you know what goes well with red and black, Cole? No. No. More red and black. Go ahead and put that on, Cole. Ah! All right. Now, who can tell me what job goes with the hat that Cole is wearing? Raise your hand if you know the answer, or if you would like to take a guess. What I'm looking for starts with a letter L. Right there in the stripes. A lumberjack or a logger, 10 points for you. Give her a nice round of applause. Good job. Cole, would you mind if I had my hat back? Thank you very much. You can head back to your seat. Give Cole a nice round of applause. And that brings us to our final trivia question of the day today, which is, back in 2006, Nancy Zalewski, a lumberjill, she set a world record for sawing through a 16-inch white pine log in A, just under 11 seconds, B, just under 11 minutes, or C, just under 11 days. Which one do you think is right? Right there in the stripes again. 11 minutes is incorrect, but we'll give you five points for trying. Right there in the green. 11 seconds, absolutely right. 10 points for you. Give her a nice round of applause. And Nancy Zalewski did not do that with a chainsaw. She did it with a handsaw, a crosscut saw, just like that. Really, really fast. Miss Angie, do you have the Guinness Book of World Records in your library? You believe you do. So you can check out all kinds of good records in that book. And also, how about Paul Bunyan? Anything about Paul Bunyan? Tons of books about Paul Bunyan that you should check out after the program today. In the meantime, let's have everybody raise a hand. Yeah, and uh, make a fist. Yep, because you are holding an imaginary handsaw that we are going to use to saw our trees in time to the beat of the music just like this. And the Jolly Lumberjack Polka, here we go. High on the mountain, up in the breeze, the lumberjack is sawing his trees. He saws all day and he saws all night. If you are lucky, you just might hear him saw. Everybody get those saws moving. And saw your tree. saws moving again and now we'll saw faster because it's almost quitting side and what do you say when your tree is falling that's right and then we replant our tree crops because it's a great thing to do for the environment now I need the assistance of my final two volunteers of the day today raise your hand if you would like to be one of my last two volunteers uh, let's see young lady in the purple have you been up yet Yes, she was. Okay. Uh, who else do we have that would like to come up? You want <laughs> Anybody new? Anybody new? Young lady right there in the Hello Kitty shirt. Come on up. Yeah. And who else do we have? We need one more. Young man in the camouflage. Are you hiding? Did you want to come up? Yeah, come on up. All right. And young lady, what is your name? Maria. Maria? Maria. Everybody say hi, Maria. All right, so we have Maria, and we have? Henry. Henry, everybody say hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. So Maria and Henry. Maria, I would like for you to put on the green and yellow hat. There you go. And Henry will have you put on the gray and white one. Yep. And if you will both face the audience. Yeah. Can you look at the audience, Maria? Great. Now, who can tell me? They're both wearing John Deere hats. What kind of job typically goes with someone who wears a John Deere hat? Young man in the red. Farmer, 10 points for you. Give him a nice round of applause. Maria, are you a farmer? Yes. Yes, she's a farmer. So you know that. It's been really hot here the last few days. Uh, you probably get really dirty and sweaty working in your fields all day, right? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. And when you're really dirty and sweaty, Henry, what do you do or what do you take? Uh, to get cleaned up. A bath? A bath, yes. You take a bath, you take a shower, you wash your hands, you brush your teeth. It's all called good personal hygiene. When you're taking that shower or bath, Maria, do you wash your head? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Do you wash your head, Henry? Yes. Yeah. What about your shoulders, Henry? Yes. Yeah. After a moment of debate. How about you, Maria? Do you wash your, uh, your shoulders? Yep. Your knees, too? Yep. Henry? Yes. Yeah. Do you wash your toes? Yes. Yeah. You, too, Maria? Yeah. Henry, do you have any idea of what I'm getting at? Mm, no. No. Oh, yes, Miss Angie's got it. We're going to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Have you done that before, Maria? Yes. How about you, Henry? No. No? When I say head, you touch your head. Shoulders, touch your shoulders. Knees, touch your knees. Toes, touch your toes. Eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. And away we go. Does that sound pretty good? Yeah. yeah, let's give these two a nice round of applause. They will be our leaders with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Let's have everybody stand up. And Maria, could I have you stand on the other side of Henry there, just so I don't hit you with my accordion? Just go stand on the other side of Henry. Maria, Maria. Right, right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and here we go with Maria and Henry. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Was that kind of slow? Yeah, should we go a little faster? Yes, all right. Henry says that with a big smile. So here we go, we'll try this. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Maria and Henry, do you suppose you could go even faster? Yes. Would you all like to go faster? Yes. All right. Then here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Shoulders, knees, and head. Shoulders, knees, and head. Shoulders, knees, and Toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Great job, everybody. Thank you very much, Henry and Mariah. If I could have my hats back, please. Thank you both very much. You guys can head back to your seats, and let's have a nice round of applause for Henry and for Mariah. Ten points for both of them. Great job. And that brings us to our final song of the day today. Before we do that, do briefly want to let you know, in case you're interested, visit pintsizepolkas.com. For more information, you can also become a uh, fan on Facebook there as well and get my CDs. So take a look at that. Right now, our final song of the day. Three vowels you are going to get very familiar with. E, I, and O. The way it works is I'll sing E, I, E, I, E, I, O. Then you sing it back to me as loud as you can. Let's give it a try. E, I, E, I, E, I, O. Ah, uh -huh, not bad, not bad. You know, though, in the spirit of competition, do you think, Miss Angie, that uh, this group could be louder? Yeah, and you have no problem with them being louder. You love it when they're loud in here, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, uh, we're going to make a competition out of EIO, and the way it's going to work is if you are on the right side, you get to go first. If you're on the left side you get to go second and we'll bounce back and forth right left right left real quick just like that right side are you ready yeah. yes left side are you ready yeah. oh all right right side it starts with you here we go oh oh boy uh let's see uh, a young man in the red and a young lady in the purple and maybe the whole family can you move to that side for a minute We'll see if we can balance this out a little bit. Yeah, give them a nice round of applause for being flexible volunteers. Oh, oh, this is good. So you're splitting up. <laughs> so right side, it'll start with you again. Here we go. Oh, Nice job, everybody. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. And now I need to go to an impartial volunteer to determine who won the EIO competition. 
and because I split up his family, we're going to go with the man in the baseball cap. Sir, who do you think won the EIO competition? You can declare a tie if you would like. It is a tie. You're all the winners. Ten points for everybody. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. And now I, I grant you permission to reunite. So feel free to, to head back over. And, and, and one more time before we go as loud as we can all together. E-I-O and away we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. I'm Uncle Mike saying, have a great summer. Go check out some good books, and we'll see you later. Thanks again.